guys, the first thing I'm going to show you is this frozen Elsa. Majestic styling head. Ooh. And she comes in this big box. And there are a lot of pieces in here, which I'm going to show you now. I want to show you the back. And the sides. Let's open this box now. Wow, many surprises in store for us, isn't there? Elsa's styling head comes with this hair clip. Three, sort of stretchy, hair holders, a plastic brush, a water bottle for her hair, Elsa's styling book, two different colored ribbons, one blue and one pinkish purple, a tiara, two different type of hair clips, and four snowflake stickers for Elsa's beautiful hair. Elsa's styling head also comes with storage on the bottom and a holder for the brush and Elsa's majestic water bottle. Now let's try to style her hair. Her head turns, so you don't have to turn her all the way around if you don't want. But as you see, her hair already comes pre-braided. Let me untangle her braid now. You can see the blue streak in her hair. Perfect for the Ice Queen. You can rebraid however which way you want. I'm going to try three different braids plus the brute the blue as a separate braid. So let me attempt this. That's just a simple braid for Elsa's wonderful hair. You can twist the tip and even put it in a bun if you'd like. If you want it to hold, you can use any one of the hair clips. Let's say, for example, this. Now I'm going to let her hair down. And I'll begin to brush some of it with this plastic brush. Because she looks like she needs some brushing. You can see her sparkly glitter hair strands. Very nice. And 
This will really straighten out Elsa's hair. Now if I turn her around, she looks just fine the way she is. She looks awesome no matter in what hairstyle you put her hair in. <laughs> Let's try the snowflake clip. This is probably a bit too thick for her. But you can design any way you'd like, of course. You can also add stickers to her hair. You can remove them with ease. Of course, you can use this as well to tie up loose ends. Add a tiara for added measure. Maybe even wrap up the hair even more with a ribbon. Why not? You can do whatever you want with Elsa. Now this water bottle, I'm going to fill with cold water so that I may change Elsa's hair. You remove the blue strand, open it up and you see this, and you want to unscrew the top, and then add your cold water, which I will do now. As soon as it's filled, screw this cap back on, and this sponge will work as an activator to change Elsa's hair. supposed to turn purple. If that doesn't work, you probably need to add hot water. So I'm going to add the hot water now. It should change Elsa's hair color from blue to purple and back to blue when you use cold and hot water. And hopefully you can see the difference. This is the Crazy Puppin Cookin' Funny Cake House, and some call it the 
the fun cake shop. I don't know which is the proper way to say it. There's instructions on the back here. And it's all in Japanese, which I cannot read. However, my brother, who's taken Japanese, knows how to read most of this, and he's helped me translate what these mean, uh, along with some of the instructions. And there's actually a video down below in the description box, which can help you with determining how to unbox the crazy pop and cook it. This is the close-up of the box. You can see the back instructions. Now I'm going to open the box. to use this as a placemat. Inside is the cherry powder or strawberry powder I think. Vanilla powder. Sprinkle. and the wafers. Open the vanilla powder. Pour it in one section of the tray. and the strawberry powder in the other. Now I grab my water and pour it in the triangle. And dump it in the powder. 
and use the spoon and mix it together until it becomes nice and thick. Now I get more water. And dump it in the other tray. And stir the vanilla. Keep stirring. Smells really good now. Next thing you want to do is get this plastic triangle. And fold the top. Grab all the strawberry powder and put it on one side. One side. Then you grab all the vanilla and put it on the other side. Close the top. Twist the top. You should have a frost maker. You just trim the top. I probably should have done this before. But next thing you want to do is grab one wafer and cut it into about four pieces using your spoon. One, two, three, four. And you can cut your other one in about two pieces. Set the ice cream cones right there. And then get ready to make my fun wafer cake. So you can grab a wafer 
put the flat wafer in and then get ready to use the frosting. Open your bag of sprinkles. Scoop some up with your spoon and place on top. This is one of them. Doesn't it look nice? Now for the cake, you get one wafer. Put frosting on the bottom. And then stack your wafers, one on top of each other. It works like glue. You keep stacking until you make this awesome wafer cake. can design the top however you want. And then add more sprinkles. Wafer cake. Now for the ice cream cone, you can... Let me cut this in half. You can put a little piece of wafer in there. And twist. Out more frosting. To make an ice cream swirl. Doesn't it look delicious? Kind of made a mess here, but thank you so much for watching this crazy pop and cooking fun cake shop or funny cake store unboxing and making treats. Hope you have fun with your fun cake shop. Now it's time for a Play Doh and Disney Princess Magic Clip Glitter Glider. This is a sparkly Play-Doh compound. And this is Sleeping Beauty with Owl. She even rolls. Let's begin. Two Play-Doh cutters. One is a butterfly and one is a heart. Let's open these up.
first Play-Doh is this raspberry looking sparkly color and we're going to use this on our Disney princess. Here's Sleeping Beauty with her owl and they both roll. You just hold her by the head, pinch the dress and she should come right off. Now we can mold the dress on Sleeping Beauty. So let me get started. This is Sleeping Beauty's new dress. Now let's grab the purple compound. grab some of the raspberry play-doh that we just used. If you mess up, you can improvise like I did and make any design dress that you want. Now she looks even better. Uh, once you fix the mistakes, of course. <laughs>
Let's try some yellow. Let's use some purple. We can add some pink in there. she is. How about some green Play-Doh? Design your princesses any way you want. And you can go in any order, any step that you want. some of this yellow play-doh and design sleeves. When winter time comes, she won't be cold.
She's all nice and toasty now. <laughs> she has her thick jacket. Keep her nice and warm during the winter. And her purple scarf. Let's use pink now. Let's use the blue for the top portion. Let's use spring colors to bring Sleeping Beauty in a brightened mood. Here she is in her wavy gown. Let's put Sleeping Beauty back in her place. Use this multicolored dough. And flatten out some pieces. Butterfly. Thank you for watching this glitter doll mini clip Play Doh with Sleeping Beauty and Owl.